Welcome to the Androidify tutorial. This is just a quick little recap of stuff I went over in class. You'll notice mine looks a little bit different, especially down here on the task tray. Um, I'm working off of Windows 10 where you're working off of Windows 7. I will try to point out similarities when I'm being uploading files um, as needed, um, but hopefully you did take the hint and take notes in class as well. All right, so you're gonna start by going to create and share. Um, I like, as you can see here, I've given myself a nickname. Looks like I've already started one. You may have one started that's already green. That's fine. To give yourself a name, you can just click up here and type it in. I recommend using only your first name or a nickname here. You can change the skin tone. You have various shirts available. Um, make sure you're choosing one that is appropriate for the school setting. Um, you can see here I've got my little Google t-shirt. To change the size of your Android, you can you click left click and hold on the mouse and that will adjust the leg arm and head size um, so that's something that you may want to check out as well you can give uh, your android some shoes when you're doing this you want to pay attention to a particular attention to choosing items or features that describe or show you or descriptive of you um, that's going to be the point of the assignment all right, as you move through, you're going to click Next, and this will take you to where you can add a little move. Um, there are hundreds of moves to choose from. I kind of like this one where you got the basketball, and he's bouncing a basketball with a soccer ball. Okay, so I'll just choose that. Um, when you're on the computers, it may take a minute to do this next step. You're going to leave the hometown blank. This is another place where you can add your name if you didn't put it on the first time around. Um, go ahead and check the box here that you're okay to have it submitted and then you're going to want to go ahead and submit it. This may take a couple, two, three minutes as they're put together what's called a GIF, G-I-F file. And the GIF file will be, the unique file name will be the name that you chose for your Android. Uh, now hopefully when this is done you're going to come up to this screen here. This is where you might see some things differ. First off, you're going to come down to the orange circle. It has a little arrow. Looks like it's going into a little rectangle that's been cut in half. This is the symbol for download. You do want to download this to your computer. So you click that. See a little green status bar. Again, this may take a minute or two. You may see it get bogged down at points. And then once you've got it there, now it should take you to another. It will either open up a new um, window with the GIF there or it will come back to this one. You also see down here in the bottom of your um, Chrome window you'll see a little file here. This is where there's going to be some difference. You're going to come over here to where it says a little file folder down at the bottom in your task tray um, or you can go to your desktop where it says libraries. You're going to click on that and you're going to go to one where it says favorites and you'll see one where it says downloads. You'll want to click on there and look for where your GIF was downloaded to. And you should be able to find it very easily with your by the name. Uh, I'm going to sort mine a little bit here so I can make it easier to find. Um, yours may be selecting, um, showing thumbnails, mine's just showing a list. So here it is. You're going to drag this. And again, yours may look a little bit different. Again, I'm on Windows 10. You're going to click left click and hold and drag this over to pictures. Okay. And down, make sure you download it to or copy it to the pictures place. The reason you want to do that, and you can see I moved mine, is so that when you go to upload it to your Google Drive, so you have access to it on the network or on the um, on the internet, you can find it easily. And also, as we've talked in class, you want to make sure you're using folders and subfolders. Next step to upload this to Google Drive. I'm going to switch over here to um, my drive, and I'm going to minimize this a little bit and go here to my mail. Go to, so you want to sign into your, your Five Schools account, go to your nine squares, and go to drive. Maximize this for you. And next, you're going to want to come to, unless Google has changed it, um, you see I already have some uploaded from previous classes. Go to My Drive, Upload Files, look for the pictures, and then you'll want to go through your pictures and 
Let's see if you can find... There it is right there. Find the GIF. Click Open. That should upload it here. You should see it populate right there. Perfect. Now you have it available to you to insert to a Google Doc, show your friends on at um, outside of class or in class. You can share it, put it on documents. So now you've shared it in two different places. So um, now you're ready to go on and do the second part of this assignment, which is create a slide. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com.